Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a pick a card all about what's gonna happen for you in the next 72 hours. So I am gonna put some crystal cards on the groups as well. So we have group number one, two, three, and four, and please choose your group. And let's put the crystal cards on now. Okay, so we have group number one, two, three, and four. So please choose your group and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's gonna happen for you guys in the next 72 hours. So you guys have Herkimer Diamonds. So for you guys, you're gonna start feeling a lot more clearer. Things are gonna start feeling like you're gonna be able to start moving more easily and you're gonna probably have a few ideas coming in the next 72 hours. It's gonna feel very, very clear and yeah, just really, really interesting, okay? Lots of interesting things coming. Um, we're gonna do the tarot after the oracle cards. So let's see what else we have. We have breakthrough to new dimensions. Uh, this one, yep, okay. Three graces, cooperative ventures with friends, joy, sharing, new partnerships that are fun. I love that card, that's one of my fave cards. Okay, so whenever I do that, by the way guys, it just means I'm asking if it's in the reverse or upright. So, okay, so for you guys, the main thing I'm feeling is that there's gonna be some new people coming in your lives or there's gonna be somebody who is quite significant. I'm hearing changing their idea about you, so it could be in, in a positive way. It's kind of like, oh, I really wanna start a relationship with you or I really want to, you know, have a stronger friendship with you, something like that. I just burps, that's clarification. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're gonna to start to have new things start to come up. So we have a new endeavor is on the horizon, innovative energy wants to burst forth from your consciousness. So I feel like with Herkimer Diamond, that's all about the consciousness. It's all about your higher power. It's the 5D, you know, it's a spiritual energy. So something is breaking through and old patterns are starting to re rewrite themselves. And it's kind of like you're rewriting your karma and you're gonna manifest something that's really interesting around your friendships and friendships and relationships. And I really like these two cards. They're like one of my favorite cards from these decks. So the fact that you got both of them in this one group is really, really good sign. And the fact we have a message in a bottle is really, really beautiful. And I feel like you're gonna get a phone call from somebody or you're gonna have a very, very significant phone call with somebody that's gonna really kind of trigger something in you in a, in a positive way. And it's gonna make you think in a different way that you haven't thought of before, but also so I'm hearing you on the on a phone, um, on the phone calling somebody, kind of talking to them like quite romantically or quite um, intimately. So I do feel there's going to be some sort of intimate kind of conversations going on with um, romantic people, like people you are interested in romantically. So there's definitely some sort of new partnerships coming in here. So for you guys, if you are single and you're wanting somebody new, then I do see it happening. Um, also, for you guys who are wanting to attract some friendships or some tribal energy, I do see that coming in. There's some gorgeous new tribal energy coming in, some new people who want to be part of your tribe. And I do feel like with these ideas that are coming in, that is... But, but, <laughs> Wow, I can't talk today. Um, <laughs> so basically, there's new ideas that are coming in for you and it might be new ideas in terms of how you see your life and how you want things to go. And it's just like new things are coming in. So let them come in naturally. And I also feel like for some of you guys, you might be buying like a new recyclable bottle um, kind of, uh, or drinking more from like glass bottles, something like that. You'll kind of be more conscious of the environment, but also you might be buying a new phone or something like that. It feels like something in terms of you buying something new that you possibly haven't bought before or possibly haven't bought for a very long time. So the main chakra cards, also crystal cards we have, are shine and we also have expression. So this is the solar plexus, this is the throat chakra. So we have lapis lazuli and mukite. Mu Okay, I've never heard of that crystal before. <laughs> okay, so expression. Express your true self, the word, the world needs you, and you are made of stardust, so keep sparkling. So essentially, you're, when you manifest these new relationships, make sure to always be your most authentic self because people love that about you. They love how you are presenting yourself and how you are expressing your most authentic self, and that's gonna really come through so beautifully for you. It's gonna really create these gorgeous relationships in your life where you can really just be yourself. And I think when we get into relationships and things, sometimes we do have a habit of changing our personalities and sometimes it can be very, very slightly, but we do have to be very careful that we aren't just putting our kind of opinions onto the other person to, so they can make the choice. You wanna make sure you're making the choice yourself and the solar plexus is very much about your confidence and it's where the anxiety comes from. But combined with the throat, it's about you really expressing 
your views on something and your opinion on something. So you could be having like quite an intense conversation with a friend or a partner about something that really kind of triggers some sort of emotion, okay? So that's really beautiful. So those are the Oracle cards there. So let's have a look at the tarot and I have some um, astrology dice. So the main one that came out was the, wow, Ace of Pentacles. That is really, really beautiful. So with the Ace of Pentacles, this is very much about you creating abundance, creating um, abundance to do with your money. Your money's going to be really good in the next 72 hours. Obviously, this is a timeless reading since you watch this whenever you come to this video. So obviously, take it as it resonates. I do feel like some sort of massive new endeavors coming though in terms of your money. And it feels very kind of synchronistic. It feels like there's going to be something around this that's going to trigger kind of an emotion so it feels like you're you're going to be so much more abundant I feel like those of you who are doing job interviews in the next 72 hours or something like that or you're going to get some new clients or you're going to work with some like new customers and you could actually meet like a friend through a customer or a client something like that so you could meet some interesting people through work so yeah you guys are really working hard this week you guys are really working on your career and your your dreams and where you want to go in terms of like your adventures and things like that. Yeah, it's definitely something, well, <laughs> that spun around really quick. There's definitely something new coming in for you guys and you're manifesting it because you have worked so hard on your emotions and you've really kind of looked at the emotions and some of the negative emotions that you feel. As I say, when I say negative emotions, I just feel like it's to do with like unhappiness or sadness or things like that. Then they're, they're never negative really. It's more about our perception of it. Everything is a positive emotion because it's helping us to become our most true authentic self but it's also here with the seven of wands it's kind of like you need to make sure that if opportunities come in that you don't kind of push them away and also I'm hearing don't overdo it with your work because you may overwork yourself and I'm hearing a lot of Virgo energy from this group so seven of swords absolutely beautiful you guys are really letting go of any pressure you put on yourself in terms of relationships so I do feel like you're learning to just accept what comes in for you and you're not kind of changing your views you're just like okay I'm just going to trust the universe whatever comes in all right let's have a look at your dice do 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 all right oh beautiful lots of emotional releasing here okay so we have the 12th house cancer and we also have the south node I always get these two confused south node and north node get them confused so south node 12th house cancer so you guys could have your north node in is it sag sagittarius I can't oh capricorn capricorn so I feel like some of you guys could have your North Node in Capricorn, South Node in uh, Cancer, Cancerian, yeah, Cancerian. And with the 12th house here, it's basically showing me that you guys are really releasing old ways of thinking and old ways of um, handling your emotions. No longer needing to push down and be frustrated about not being able to express yourself. You're just like, you know what? I'm just gonna be my authentic self. I need to cry, I'm gonna cry. If I don't need to cry, I'm not gonna cry. I'm just gonna feel how I feel in that moment and I'm not gonna judge myself on what I'm feeling. And with the South Node being in Cancer and you're kind of moving towards the North Node here in Capricorn, your money's gonna start being really, really Really good and that's basically what is showing me here with ace of pentacles this is also showing me that you are putting yourself first and because you're doing that you're going to manifest some really gorgeous relationships so so much flow with this group i love this group so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below also along with my crystal shop that's down below thank you so much for being here guys i really really appreciate you and i'll speak to you soon much love bye hello group number two thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading let's see what's happening for you guys in the next 72 hours all right Larimar I am really connected with Larimar the last few weeks it's crazy so basically Larimar here says when you feel like all of the world's problems are suddenly just your problem when anger stands between you and the formation of articulate sentences remember chill is a choice ride the call breeze with Larimar so with this I feel like you're really letting go of any kind of anger in terms of your connections with people it feels like it's more to do with just cooling down with and trusting the process and I feel like with a lot of the things that are going on around the world consciousness is really rising very quickly so you could be getting quite frustrated with the world or just getting really angry with people's reactions or the way people are being tre or treating you or triggering you and I think you just got to let it kind of ride through and kind of come through naturally because if they're kind of triggering you you know you've got to work on those emotions as they come up because you're that's going to be much better for you as well and I feel like there's definitely some sort of underlying kind of emotion of safety so make sure to create safety around you so we're going to have a look at the uh tarot in just a second and also the crystal cards okay so 
next one we have replacing what was lost you now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew create with a new perspective or outlook this card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon oh i love this yay okay stardust oh cute premonition galactic communications beginnings and endings guys you are letting go you are letting go oh t the fates i love that so we have number 12 we have 35 and 17 so those could be quite significant numbers for you um there's definitely something fated that's happening i feel like you're really rewriting your karma very similar to group number one um so if you're drawn to group number one i think they're very very similar so you may have already wanted uh, group number one or maybe go back to that one if you feel drawn to um, the fact that we have replacing what was lost is kind of like you may be a star seed as well. I'm getting like five different messages here. Um, you may be a star seed, so you may feel like even more and more lost in this world, but it's fine because basically there's a beginning and an ending and you're getting a lot of movement with your emotions okay you are awakening you are bringing up a lot of this new self who you who was never lost it was just you had to kind of find yourself again you know and we come here without knowing who we are we forget who we are and then we have to kind of find ourselves through this life so for you guys you guys are possibly doing some galactic communications with some aliens you might be somebody who's very connected to aliens and very like high extraterrestrials and things like that so i feel like for you guys you may feel like things are very lost things are very confusing right now they're like no way up no way down i have no idea where i'm going that is a good start because at the end of the day you're going to be able to go any from anywhere from there and with the fates everything is going to happen for a reason so if you are feeling lost you're meant to be in that place so you can work out where to go but also so you can pause i'm hearing pause breathe kind eyes which is something that i do in the emotional fitness which i've told you guys quite a lot about it's basically where you I say this mantra, you say, I acknowledge part of me feeling and you work with the emotion as it comes up. So you say, I acknowledge part of me feeling I'm not unsafe about the way the world is right now and I choose to let these feelings flow right now. And then you take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and then you pause and kind eyes towards yourself. And it's basically, I look at my right shoulder or you can look ahead and you basically just look really kindly at yourself and look at yourself like you were like a puppy or a kitten or something really cute. So... That is what I'm feeling. So what is coming up for, for you guys is there's definitely a feeling of when am I going to actually manifest the thing that I really want? And it's feeling very, very sad. And I think for you guys, you're really going to be connecting with music in the next 72 hours because I think there's going to be a lot of kind of comfort within music and TV shows and things. And I think a lot of you guys are Cancerian. I'm really picking up this like soft Cancerian vibe. Um, but obviously, if you're not, just take it as it resonates. There's definitely something about yeah i feel so sad for you guys in this because i i'm getting like a very similar emotion that i've felt in my life where you kind of feel like you've done so much for other people and you're like when is it going to be my turn to attract my abundance you know especially for those of you who are empaths it's it can be really hard on this planet you know so uh so yeah i really feel like you guys are really working with that and larimar is such a beautiful soft crystal um, so if you guys would like this in a jewellery form, then just let me know, message me through Etsy or Instagram or email and just ask um, and I can probably do that for you. So I really feel like you guys are really connected with water as well and just really connected with yourself. But guys, there is no there's no loss here okay so if someone doesn't appreciate you've had to if, say if you've had to let go of someone who has, doesn't appreciate you that is not a loss that's a gain okay because if they didn't appreciate you in the first place they're not meant to be in your life okay and you don't want to entertain that anyway so okay so we have sacral chakra journey and we also have abundance solar plexus chakra so this is very much about you guys having the confidence to trust in the universe and know that abundance is coming towards you and it is a journey the world is abundant when you choose to see it that way, to enjoy the journey, let go of the outcome. And I know that's so hard sometimes because we are such goal orientated creatures. So I feel like for you, it's, it's really important to just trust what's happening and know that it is unfolding as it should do. Sometimes we just need to be reminded of that. Okay, so work on your solar plexus and your sacral chakra and the crystals they recommend here are uh, red aventurine, sacral chakra and citrine, which is beautiful. I also recommend uh, yellow citrine yellow event is it a yellow adventure in i don't think it's adventure in i think it's um okay spirits give me the word what's the word um it's not adventure in calcite thank you calcite so so yes that is what i use in my crystal kit for my website it's really 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 good okay so 
four of swords reverse yes oh i love this no i don't normally get the four of swords in reverse so i love this kind of placement so with the four of swords in reverse it's showing me that you guys are no longer straining struggling you're just letting things flow and when you do start to overthink you're really very aware of what you're thinking and how you're interacting with those thoughts and also when an offer comes in i feel like you're going to take it and it feels very 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 positive and do i want this card no i don't okay so let's do a little bit of a shuffle and let's see oops i always do that <laughs> i need to stop doing that okay all right let's get you a couple more cards yeah you guys are exploring now you guys are on a new path you kind of are seeing yourself um in a new way and i do feel like you could be talking to somebody abroad um who really really appreciates you who sees you as this gorgeous light who really loves your energy couldn't be a, could be a friend could be a partner could be a potential partner but everything's working in divine timing and we could definitely have a lot of communication in the next 72 hours so look out for that guys there could be somebody who really strikes up a lot of emotion in you when you talk to them and somebody who makes you feel really really safe so it could be somebody from america i'm hearing germany i'm hearing austria i'm hearing um where else is another one one begin with j here in possibly jamaica something like that it could be somebody from that place and also here in england and i'm hearing the capital or capital city so you could be talking to somebody from a city or they could be from a city so what this is basically showing me is you've done all the work emotionally and i feel like because you've done it there's something new coming in which is so good so guys get ready because there's abundance coming in which is amazing amazing okay some of you guys could be a scorpio moon we have scorpio moon we have the fifth house fifth house is very much about expression it's that childlike energy it's about dating romance it's about love affairs and spirit and self-expression and drama so the fact we have that in scorpio you guys could be talking to somebody um, and having a date with them as well um, it could be like a virtual date but i feel like some of you guys it could be like you're virtually talking like on facetime or something and then you're kind of figuring out how to meet um, i also feel like this always reminds me of the number six so six could be very significant for you guys and i feel like it kind of just reminds me of a spiral so everything happens in a spiral like life is not linear life happens like this so basically you may feel like you're going around in circles and it's like why is this happening again why is this happening again basically the universe is like okay it's going to happen again but how are you going to handle it the second time around and the more you go through it and handle it and better and better and better uh it's going to decrease and it's not going to happen as much okay or any more so the fact we have scorpio you could be meeting a scorpio moon a scorpio sun a scorpio anything <laughs> um and the fifth house is all about happiness it's about play so for you guys it's really learn to not be so serious scorpios can be very serious i know hi so i feel like for you guys it's just being really playful and fun and bringing in that play remembering life isn't meant to be serious i know it can be extremely serious and feeling very confused even before all of this stuff has, ha has been happening in the world it's always been a bit confusing for a lot of us kind of empaths people and even if you're not an empath i feel like it can be extremely confusing so don't take it seriously take it light-hearted and when someone's triggering you sometimes it's best to just laugh it out maybe not laugh in their face <laughs> but laugh to yourself because that kind of releases a lot of um, endorphins and it gets your body feeling more safer because especially if we're feeling triggered it can cause this kind of tension and it can make us hold on to emotions quite strongly so you've got to really remember to have that emotional release and i do feel like there is some sort of emotional release happening it just feels really happy it feels like you guys especially if you are a scorpio i feel like you're really diving into your emotions i know you guys do that all the time anyway but there's definitely a sense of fun a sense of like light more light-hearted energy and you're possibly going to be meeting somebody who's very light-hearted and fun and that's the full energy if you guys are single but also friendship wise as well so thank you so much guys i really really appreciate you if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below if you want to check out my crystal store same thing and i'll speak to you very soon i love you guys appreciate you and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so for you guys you guys you guys wow so many words <laughs> you guys got rose quartz so lots of love unconditional love selflessness feeling really really happy and for you guys you may feel like you've been working really hard and you feel like you haven't really been giving to yourself this rose quartz is all about you giving to yourself and really kind of giving yourself the time of day to just chill and relax and just be in your own energy so we're going to have a look at the tarot and the crystal cards in just a moment so we're going to put those over there okay so first card we have out is convey your meaning 
We also have, oh, Midnight Prince. I love him. He's pretty. And we have Exchanging Gifts. Okay, I'm singing so much in this group. Are you guys singers? I'm singing so much in this group. Okay, convey your meaning. Reflect on the way you communicate. Ah, that could be it. Reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. So for you guys, you could be having a little bit of anger come up, a little bit of intensity. And it's interesting because you have to ask for what you want. Be honest. So you guys, this is definitely going to be a time where you're going to be learning how to accept compliments, accept gifts, accept people helping you. Because I feel like you guys are quite independent, but also you guys like to hold yourself back from happiness, I think sometimes. So you guys have got to really give yourself a break. And for some of you guys, you could be tuning more into nature. I feel like you guys might be walking on like barefoot on the grass walking barefoot more in the house to kind of get grounded more i'm sensing this kind of really strong draw to copper and jet and black onyx just more like earthy rooted kind of crystals and i'm getting like another one that i can't think of right now it's like a like um black it's not black tourmaline but i am getting some sort of kind of really natural raw cut crystal and it's brown and I really can't think of the crystal I don't actually think I know the name of it but it's very very strong in my mind so if I think about it or I get a download I will let you know when it says reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart with respect to sincerity this could be having a conversation like quite a deep intense kind of conversation with somebody that kind of has been pushed under the rug I'm getting like this and someone's doing this and kind of pushing it under I feel that you guys really need to ask and talk about what you really want and if there's something that you're having a little bit of conflict with really learn to kind of pick up the pace I'm suddenly got really really tired in this group and I don't know why so I think you guys could suddenly be feeling really tired as you're watching this reading or you could just have suddenly just got really tired like in this Tiredness can be caused by stress and adrenaline, so you guys might actually get, be getting quite tired in your conversations and things as well. So we have exchanging gifts. So this is all about you guys having some sort of gift coming towards you, and I feel like you, you have to accept that you are a prize and you are beautiful and you are gorgeous and you deserve people around you who really appreciate you. So if there is somebody who doesn't really appreciate your appreciate you and it doesn't like kind of bode well of your energy, learn to kind of have a conversation with them and try to understand what it is that your needs are and what their needs are and kind of try and get a bit of balance. This could be a roommate, this could be a relationship, a friendship. It could literally be any type of relationship. It could be a family member. I'm really sitting down and talking about it and if they're not really a sort of person that you would do that with I think for you guys it's just learn to express yourself by yourself and give yourself a time of day to just be like look maybe we can't express it to this person but we can express it to ourselves maybe write a letter or something there's something around some sort of individual that's been really causing you a lot of stress and it could be a male figure as well it could be like a parent or an uncle something like that or a cousin a brother something like that that's really causing you a lot of stress and we do have seven as well here 43 so you guys there's this is about your spiritual journey and this is really kind of bringing you up up a level so this is bringing you in a lot of awareness and you're like i don't want any more awareness i've had enough awareness girl it's life it's hard i know girl i feel you but you just gotta keep going okay and this is also showing me that you guys might be getting a, like a romantic gesture, which is cool. I love that. I love that. So that's for you guys who are single. I am. I always tune into people who are single. I never tune into people who are already in a relationship because for me, my own kind of kind of you know thing that I have is if I'm going to connect with somebody it will be because I'm single so I don't kind of you know encourage that people you know dip in and out obviously unless it's you know mutual so that's kind of what I'm feeling guys okay so that's why I always say if you're single as well but obviously if you're not single this could be somebody who just is very good influence on you or somebody who's really helping you change your mind or something so it could be a friend who really helps you to understand the situation okay and obviously no judgment to anyone who's in those sort of relationships as well absolutely no judgment okay so all right I'm really picking up on a black cat so you guys might be having a black cat or buying a black cat or have one something like that I'm hearing the name Parker really strongly or Jordan I have no idea who those people are I don't know if that's your cat's name <laughs> but I'm really picking up on strongly on that so you have the five of wands so that's kind of like the underlying energy over the next kind of 72 hours there's something that's kind of being triggered here let's get you some more tarot and let's see what's kind of going on with this five of wands there's definitely some sort of conflict 
and I'm not kind of, I feel like for this group, I'm not really predicting the conflict. It's almost like you already know what this is. So you could have already been going, going through it or have gone through it. I'm seeing you guys dang, okay, this is a very weird analogy and kind of message. I feel like you guys are dangling your feet above, above shark infested waters and it feels like you're the bait and it feels like you are tempting fate. You're kind of like, I don't feel good enough so I'm gonna kind of like see where this goes. It's almost like self-sabotage. So make sure to really put yourself first guys and especially in situations where people aren't treating you well because you're definitely getting a new start and my legs are tingling like mad. So that's a really big confirmation. Yeah, you guys, the things are changing for you, okay? Things are really changing for you. Could be an Aquarius as well, getting really strong Capricorn vibes from this group. Um, it doesn't have to be though. I'm picking up on a really strong Pisces and Aquarius relationship. I'm feeling like, it doesn't have to be like a partner relationship, but I'm picking up like a relationship between two people who is Aquarius and a Pisces. So yeah, you're really learning to stand your ground. And remember guys, that this is gonna come with time, okay? So just really be gentle with yourself and know that this will happen when it's meant to happen. We have the Knight of Cups. So that is definitely Pisces energy. You guys are really picking up on somebody who, who suits your energy, but you need to let go of this old self first. The judgmental, the strain, the anger, the pressure. The pressure isn't gonna help you. And also I'm hearing rushing will not help this because it causes adrenaline. And then when your adrenaline is high, you're not gonna have a lot of energy left for the day. And also when you have adrenaline, it lasts for a very, very long time and that can cause anxiety. So for you guys, if you have had an argument with somebody or you are kind of feeling a lot of intensity, just remember to give yourself space. And if you need to be away from people for a while, just let them know or just, you know, take yourself away from the situation and walk away and just kind of do your best to, to have like a mutual kind of emotion here. Cause I feel like I'm hearing triggers are not the way to go. So if you guys are getting too angry, best thing is to walk away or punch a pillow, you know? But I feel like you guys are really learning how to communicate and how to really come into a really strong communication uh, energy with people and I think that's a really strong learning lesson I would not be surprised if this is a throat chakra no it's a crown chakra oh my god I'm so shocked okay so calmness yeah being calm in your energy crown chakra rainbow moonstone I love this I actually sell uh, rainbow moonstone on my uh, sphere on my shop it's really beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous so we have calmness to calm your monkey mind do not feed the animal <laughs> I love that and then we just have love. So love could be coming in. And I feel like love is just obviously universal. It is a universal energy here. So it could be that you're really giving yourself love here, needing to um, know that love is universal and you don't have to have love. And to, to have love, it's kind of like they're saying, you don't have to do a certain thing to be loved or you don't have to be a certain person to be loved. Um, there's no definition of love. As long as you are um fit opening your heart and really working with that energy that's going to really help you and one of my friends sent me this really beautiful quote and it basically is by bunny mitchell i think her name is she's on instagram she's really good and it basically says about being single and things like that so i'm just going to read it to you if this resonates with you guys that's going to be really good so it basically says being single has its ups and downs but so does being in a relationship because that's how life is up and down sometimes you feel strong and confident and ready to face any challenge and sometimes you feel overwhelmed and insecure but we have to try our best but oh sorry what we have oh my god what we have to try our best to do is to stop the myth that the state of our romantic relationships is the only reason why we are sad and the only reason why we are happy and i think that is so freaking freaking powerful like that is amazing okay so I feel like for you guys it's really coming into your power really really coming into your energy of it doesn't matter where I am right now or what my relationship state and it status is or what how many friends I have or anything like that all that matters is that I love myself and I know what I deserve and I know I'm gonna get it okay and also is when you stand in your power you're really letting that person know where your boundaries are so that's kind of you know people need to be taught that sometimes and we also have Rhodonite with the love. So if any of these crystals resonate with you or you want to get these in a kind of like jewellery form, then I have a crystal shop down below where I do custom jewellery. So also if you guys want any custom pieces that are not on my shop, just uh, email me or message me on Instagram or, or on Etsy. So for this group, we have Pluto, we have Aquarius in the second house. So you could have Aquarius quite strongly. Did I say this is Aquarius group? I was picking up quite strong Aquarius. So the second house is about money, it's income, it's daily routines, it's what your values are, habits, your job, your work ethic. So this is very much to do with things really shifting in how you feel about your work life. 
and how you feel about interacting with work. So it doesn't actually have to be career, it could be in university, uni, uni, uh, it could be college, it could be school, it could be the way you interact with um, like your hobbies. It's kind of like not taking things too seriously and learn to enjoy them. And also some of you guys could actually be making some money off a hobby that you have. Um, it could also be that you're changing your job and, and doing something that you love more and maybe you're having to stay calm because maybe you're unemployed right now or struggling with money and, and a lot of us are and it's becoming calm in that kind of storm and knowing things will change and things will get better and just to love yourself because the more self-love you have, I know it's hard guys but sometimes it, the more self-love you have, the more you're going to bring in this really gorgeous energy of appreciation and that's going to bring more abundance to you. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to get don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. So thank you so much and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello green number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys, okay, this is so strange, but there's like a little face in this in this crystal. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of looks like a teeny tiny little face. Very random. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> okay, so we have Shungite. Shungite is really good for EMF waves. It's so good for keeping you grounded, getting you away from kind of like uh, gross energies that kind of feel really uncomfortable, like, you know, Wi-Fi and all those things that we think don't affect us, but actually have a very strong effect on us. So for you guys, this is also about your energy. For, th for this card, it says, when it's time to reclaim your energy from wherever it's been and whoever, whomever it's been with, get real with your truth. So for you guys, this is a, it's a coal-like mineral. So it's very much to do with getting grounded in the earth. And I feel like it's, I'm hearing your, um, your, okay, what's the word? Can you give me the word again? They're saying, you know the word. It's like, well, tell me again, tell me again. Um, tell me again, what's the word? Your values, thank you. Okay, so your values is kind of what you value. That's kind of what I'm feeling from this group. It's like you're in the next 72 hours, you're gonna find out what you really value out of life and also what makes you feel um, safe. And you're really kind of coming into this more natural energy. You're kind of working with more organic properties, I feel, in your diet, in your skincare. You're, really, you're being more kind of um, careful or like not careful, what's the word? Can you give me the word again, please? You're being very, can, um, what's the word? I can't, I don't know what it is. It's like you're being more, you know, thought, you're thinking about things before you, conscious, thank you. You're being more conscious about how you're um, working with your body and the things you're taking in. So let's look at these cards in just a second, the tarot. All right, so oracle cards first. Help appears in various ways. There is so much support. There is so much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift you forget to look at the support systems that are with you continually. We have two cards here. Fairly wishing well. Oh, sorry, fairy wishing well. Manifestations, expectations, and offerings. And then we have catch me, trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. And then we have serendipity. I love that all these groups have some sort of kind of um, fated events and I really love that because I feel like a lot of you guys are really trusting the universe but also if you're kind of having a little bit of lack of trust you are going to kind of find um, some sort of balance between trusting and letting go and I feel like with this you guys need to just surrender and this is kind of showing me that if you guys are having quite an intense time right now emotionally there's definitely some sort of support system that can really support you so be aware that that is going to come in that's going to help you so also, if you've been feeling like you can't trust the universe, know that when you do and you let it catch you, you will manifest what you've been wanting. And also you are manifesting the things you've been wanting. And that's just confirmation if you guys have been feeling a little bit kind of, um, a little bit too grounded or a little bit too kind of um, possibly slightly depressed or unhappy or sad. Just know that with this serendipity card as well, things are going to find you. So you, what you're manifesting is finding you. And just think about it like that. If you think, oh, nothing's going to manifest for me, nothing ever comes to me at the right time, that is not the right attitude, sister, okay? <laughs> really focusing on um, the things that are really important to you and working on those. And I feel like the more you work on something more concentrated, it, it enhances it, it brings it up more powerfully. So whatever you give your attention to, it increases. So make sure you're being very aware of where you're putting your attention. And we have 13 and we have seven. So for you guys, I feel like some of you guys are really looking up to um, leaders this week. And I'm talking like shamans, I'm talking like Gandhi and things like that, like videos of people doing interviews where they're very inspiring. I feel like you're really looking at those or like in films or TV shows, you're just looking at people with admiration. And I think 
is supporting you. It's almost like um, a parental figure in a way. It's kind of helping you feel safe, but also not in so much of a deep way. It's just inspiring you to become the best person you can be. And I mean, I don't know how that's not deep, but it's my scorpion is guys, I've got to be deep, I can't help myself. So you do have support systems, so let people support you and also don't judge yourself for needing help because help being and being helped is also being independent. And also interdependency is very important. So if you guys are more of like the independent type or you have struggles asking for help, remember that th that person probably does want to help you, you know, especially if you trust them, that person wants to help you. And especially, as I say, if you trust them and you feel comfortable with them, they're going to want to give you that advice and assist you and help you because that's what we're on this planet for, you know? And I think it can sometimes be that we don't want to kind of give our power away or it's like trusting the person. And I think at the end of the day, you just got to do what's best for you, but take that leap of faith and ask for help. And also, if there's something you want to do, this is a confirmation that you're being supported. And if there's something that you're struggling to think, oh, I don't know if this is going to be good for me. Trust that it is going to be good for you, okay? Okay, so we have releasing some old pathways. Uh, that's like the, I feel like if this card had a title instead of the Six of Swords, it would be releasing old pathways. That's what I'm hearing just really strongly. Really, it feels really easy. It feels, it, I know releasing old pathways, does, it doesn't sound easy, but the feeling I'm getting, it feels easy. It feels like you, you're meant to do this. You're meant to let go of the old and you're meant to... Yeah, this, this feels really beautiful. Okay. King of Wands, wow. Strong leadership energy. Yep, you're no more hanging on, you're no more hanging or waiting, watching. You are in it now. You're really manifesting what you want and there's a brand new start for you guys. That's absolutely beautiful. I love the um, kind of flow of these tarot cards. They're really beautiful because they're really showing a strong amount of passion and yeah that's the leader energy you're really um figuring out who is your leader and who you feel you um who you want to kind of look up to and it's not almost like a kind of you're ruling me it's almost like i admire what you do and i want to be like that if, when i'm older or i want to be like that now you know but i feel like with the two of wands you're looking you're definitely looking outside of yourself for inspiration which is positive it feels very positive and it feels very healthy and you guys are now now taking that leap of faith he's pulling on the the cord and he's kind of like no and he drops and he's letting the universe catch him okay so really letting yourself feel this passion and I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy as well I feel like it's very sacral chakra and the sacral chakra is one of the most powerful chakras I feel in terms of your drive your passion um your kind of I'm hearing telekinesis <laughs> so if you guys that's if you guys can actually do that like move things with your mind and that is actually a thing I was actually speaking to one of my family members about this today some people can actually do that so if you want to practice that give it a freaking go because I feel like there's some sort of like sacral chakra energy that's wanting to come up and move stuff so if it's literally moving stuff for your mind if it is moving things obviously guys you don't have to believe me that's totally fine this is just kind of what I believe um but yeah, it feels like you guys are really kind of shifting things and moving things and not maybe not your mind, but <laughs> with, with your emotions and it's bringing up a lot of physical energy. And for you guys who really wanted to connect with somebody or just make connections, I feel. I feel that really strong energy of that. Okay, so you have dreams and signs. Yeah, exactly. So you guys both have the, you have the two third eye chakras here. So we have uh, Labradorite and Lepidolite. And I have Labradorite nexus on my shop. I'm in love with them. They're so good and they're very, very powerful. And with Labradorite, it's a very supportive crystal. It's kind of a very good crystal if you are channeling because it's also very grounding as well. So if you start to drift off a little bit, it's very good at grounding you into the moment. So for you guys, you're going to get a lot of signs of your dreams happening. And I definitely feel like with that looking at different signs of people and kind of like looking at interviews of celebrities and kind of people who are in acting and who are very inspiring and picking up on like Jim Carrey and like Russell Brand and things. Yeah, it feels very, very strong. I feel like some of you guys might be listening or finding a favorite artist this in the next 72 hours. I'm picking up on the, the artist called Tom Mish. And if any of you guys like Tom Mish, um, comment down below because I absolutely love him. He's so talented and so pretty and he's just he has the most relaxing music so if you guys want to listen to some chill relaxing music look up tom mish very very good okay 
Right, so we have the 12th, I love this. Group number one had this as well. I'm pretty sure group number one, 12th house cancer. So for you guys, you could have been back going back and forth between one and 12, so one and 12, no, one and four, the group number, one and four, the group. So, okay, so we have Neptune, Cancerian and the 12th house. So this is very much about you initiating some emotional change. And I really, I really love that. Initiate emotional change. We love, we love. It feels like you're in the driver's seat now. Like no one is, no one else has the will. Your ego doesn't have the will. No one outside of you does. It's just you and your mind and you are in control and you are going for it, girl. And you're getting your dreams. And I feel like you're very, yeah, you're getting a lot of imaginative energy because Neptune is all about um, uh, the psyche and literally Neptune rules the 12th house, I'm pretty sure, because it's Pisces. So for you guys, you're really releasing a lot of that old negative kind of strain that you put on yourself thinking I can't manifest this I can't get here I can't get my dreams look for the signs guys look for the friggin signs and if you know that it's a sign friggin affirm that it's a sign and also ask your angels for help if you need some help finding a friggin car parking space or whether it's manifesting your man ask your friggin guides because they will be there to help you trust me I do it it works it's amazing if you physically see that car parking space if you physically see your man ahead of time you will friggin manifest it it will be friggin great okay and it will happen so just believing it and also with the 12th house you guys are probably going to get some people hit you up from the past sorry but that's sometimes what the 12th house is about uh, obviously you don't have to take these offers but i do feel like there is something around old emotions coming up through other people but if you've released everything then you won't attract it and it'd be great so that is your reading guys i feel like you guys are really sassy i feel like i'm doing some really sassy hand movements in this group so i love that yes queen you work okay so thank you so much for watching guys and if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below along with my crystal shop thank you so much for being here i love you i appreciate you and i'll speak to you soon bye